So if you haven't heard already, Universal Studios is coming to Frisco, Texas. So today in this video, we're gonna kind of go over things, break it down. We attended the city council meeting last night, so we got some information. So let's get started. I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. And like Patrice mentioned, we are going to go over the good, the bad, the ugly of the big news of the day, mm -hmm. and that is Universal Studios coming right here in our own backyard to Frisco, Texas. That's right. What does that mean? There's there's a, just a ton of, of people out there that are freaking out, mm -hmm. uh, both on the good side and the bad side, mm -hmm. you know? Traffic, what's that gonna do? What's it gonna right. do? Property values. Mm -hmm. All sorts of different questions that we need to get into and we're gonna dive into. Um, we went to the city council meeting last night with not only uh, Frisco City Council and Mayor, but as well as the um, executives of Universal. Universal. Mm -hmm. So um, we got some good insight on what's going on. We'll also kind of give you our opinions later on at the end of the of the video, so stay tuned for that. Now, if this is your first time on our channel, let me introduce ourselves. Like I said, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. And we are local real estate agents that specialize in all things Dallas real estate. And we've lived in, in Frisco for the last 16 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is kind of our sandbox. That's so right. if that is of interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell so you're alerted every time we do a video. Yep, and don't forget to call, text, or email, whatever you gotta do to get a hold of us, just get a hold of us and fill out that dream home form so we know what it is you are looking for in your dream home. Yes, especially moving here to Frisco, Texas. Yeah. Now let's do get you want into to it. or do yeah. you not want to? That's the question. That is the million dollar <laughs> question. Now, let's talk it from a North Texas standpoint. I think this is fantastic. Yes. It's going to attract a lot of people. It's going to put a lot of eyeballs, even more so than mm -hmm. is already here on, the, on this great area. And all those things are very positive. Mm -hmm. um, You've heard me say it a million times on this channel. Dallas is expected to double in size between now and 2030. And I think this only expedites that. That is correct. And this is going in the fields development, which you've heard us talk about before too, where the PGA is going. Um, and so it's fields west. going, yeah, you know, they're going to have a Ritz Carlton in there. They're going to have an Omni in there. They're going to have, as we've mentioned many times, like the legacy West area, they're building that, but larger, it's going to be quite the place to come and visit. Yeah. The, the problem is, is that, um, with that, what, what is mm -hmm. what is going to happen to the immediate neighborhood surrounding right. the fields? Mm -hmm. That was what the emphasis on the meeting was all about, and that's what we're going to kind of get into. Because there is a neighborhood directly across the street from where they're building this, so that is a concern for them. Yeah, there are some that are their backyards are going to face. Right, right. You know, when you're mm -hmm. out there grilling. Yes, and they have. They're going to be looking at you know yeah. Shrek. They have definite concerns and I don't blame them. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. But let's get into what is, maybe this is your first time you just hearing all about it. That's a what, shocker if it is. <laughs> what, what's going on? Universal Studios, right. Patrice, like right. what is this, This uh, what are they building? Well, it's the first of its kind. They don't have one anywhere else. So we are kind of their test pilots, I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a fourth of the size of um, a regular universal park like it in California or Florida. Um, I know they have them in other countries also. They bought 97 acres. They're gonna start with 30 and on those 30, they're gonna have the park and um, a hotel, a 300 room hotel. And that's what they're starting with. And they're gonna see how that goes. You wanna tell them a little bit of, about what they're gonna add to it? Well, what they're going to do is it's going to be geared, like Patrice was saying, it's one of a kind geared specifically for young uh, children. Mm -hmm. they, they said three to nine, and then in an interview we ten. saw three to 10. <laughs> so uh, ten not that under. there's a huge difference, <laughs> but uh, but anyway, for the younger for the younger kids. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously, Frisco and, and the surrounding areas are a fam very family oriented. Mm -hmm. um, area and so this is just going to highlight that and give you more things to do yeah it fits in the area for that reason for sure absolutely mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a perfect fit as far as that's concerned yes 
But I, I wish, you know, as a resident here, I mean, obviously as someone, you know, just speaking selfishly, you know, if I'm going to have an amusement park in my backyard, I wouldn't mind being able to, you know, have you some fun without, ooh, yeah, <laughs> without the kids mm -hmm. or whatnot. And yeah. maybe that would be phase two. They hinted that it will always be a kid's park. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. And then, the, you know, we did grow up very close to Disneyland. So it's kind of one In of those shadows. things. And we had season passes and stuff like that. So we're kind of kind of theme park people in yeah. a way. <laughs> so. Yeah, so we're, we're, personally, we're kind of excited about it until, you know, yeah. the kids thing, because our kids are past that, but. But at the same time, concerned about traffic also. And yeah, like that traffic, it, it, so that's the big mm -hmm. wild card, right? Yeah. So one of the things that, um, that they're going to do, and later on in this video, we're going to get into the computer so we can kind of show you yeah. and be on the lookout for that. Stay tuned. But their Panther Creek uh, Parkway is going to expand from four lanes to six lanes. Mm -hmm. So that directly does impact all the people in Northwest Frisco with traffic patterns and everything else. Yeah. There's a couple more roads that they're going to be building. Mm -hmm. All this different stuff is all things that we need to take into consideration. Is traffic going to um, increase? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's no question about that. Legacy um, West, the Fields West that, they, that they're calling it, when that comes up here, um, all these, you know, couple thousand houses, I mean, to think that it's not going to impact everybody, right. it's going to impact it big time. Well, and on that same road, on Panther Creek, you have a high school, you have a middle school, I mean, there's a lot going on right there that causes traffic. So you have buses coming in and out and things like that. So it will be an interesting thing to see how they actually handle all of that. Yeah. So one of the big things as we're talking about traffic or things that they took into consideration was the fact that that original spot, this um, is going on the uh, northeast corner of the Tollway and Panther Creek uh, right. Parkway, right? So. In that, in that spot, in the fields development, original site plans, th that was called for um, to do office. Um, High-rise buildings high and rise, things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So the whole idea behind traffic in, in this amusement park, and one of the things that I thought was interesting that I didn't get was, you know, if, if you were to put an office campus, you know, headquarters right there, mm -hmm. you know, you would have thousands of cars coming in right at the same time and leaving Maybe right at the same time, time right yeah where in right during eight to five mm -hmm. you know whereas with the amusement park yeah you're gonna have that initial rush at the beginning right but when they open but they, they're not gonna open until later on right in, in exactly. the, right so they're they're talking and nothing's it, official but you know 10 o'clock 10 o'clock so. yeah and then closing early they haven't closing, decided the closing time yet because they have to wait and see exactly what works best for traffic. Yeah, so closing, well, what they're talking about is that the, it doesn't make any sense from a business standpoint, from a Universal Studio standpoint, mm -hmm. to stay open late like you would in the Disneylands and mm -hmm. in the Six Flags of the world. Yeah. And even Universal um, in Orlando and in uh, Hollywood because it's geared towards those kids. Right. Right. So th they're not up. And so it's if no one's going to be there, and, yeah. yeah, if no one's going to be there at 11 o'clock at night, there's no point in having it. Mm -hmm. Now, what I did find funny though, is in, on this hand, they're, they're talking about how, um, because it's an amusement park, you know, you're not going to have that disruption on traffic. You're not going to have everybody hitting the roads at the same time, like you would uh, during prime time congested hours, mm -hmm. right? And then the, the next breath, you say, "Well, yeah, but we're going to close we're that closing. six. <laughs> so they all have to leave. Well, <laughs> that seems like that's pretty. That's pretty much uh, uh, yeah. right there. Yeah, so yeah. that that makes me a little nervous. Yes. We'll see what that has, what kind of impact that has. Right. Um, I don't know from a tourist draw that how many people are going to be flocking here. It'll be from around the world or yeah. whatnot to to this area just because i mean what else okay you you hit that land it's it's a 25 percent um of a normal universal studios i mean i mm -hmm. i couldn't go to universal studios for three days in a row and that, that's you know yeah they're saying one to two days is what they're saying one to two days mm -hmm. right yeah so you know i guess there's golf there's all sorts of things right but you know i don't think it's going to be you know this 
big vacation spot that mm -hmm. people that people ran to. Another interesting thing, mm -hmm. um, while we still are on the traffic talk, mm -hmm. is the expected traffic during the week is going to be about seven thousand uh, people in the park, and at on the weekends they're expected it to be around twenty thousand, mm -hmm. and then. Because it is a an amusement park and not office buildings and whatnot, um, it averages about 3.2 people per per car. Per car. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you know, whatever that is. What we didn't say though was about the park itself. They will not have fireworks, which is good for the neighbors. I didn't know what you were what you were looking up there. I was doing the, I was doing my own calculations. <laughs> All right, but it um, they will not have fireworks, and they will. They're trying to keep the sound within each of. So, like for example, they're going to have like five different lands, and let's pretend one's Shrek land. Well, that one will kind of you know be like a swamp and everything like Shrek lives in, and the music will be accordingly. Well, they don't want that to bleed into the other land, so they're trying to keep the music and everything within itself so it shouldn't they're saying it should not affect the houses that are right there um and then i know another concern was um lights and things like that so they're trying to keep it real lush all the way around so you can't even see inside the park to see yeah, any yeah. of it and so hopefully everything you know is what they say and it will you know just kind of be contained within itself would be nice it would be, <laughs> um, but I, I, I think what's funny about that, because how that came up is what about the noise factor right. and all that sort right. of thing for the you know surrounding. Which is are another we, good gonna, point. Yeah. Another good point. And I think it's one of those things that, and their comment, like Patrice is saying, yeah, in Shrek land or whatever, it will be, you know, the, the one to keep those sounds separate from the other villages and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's all great. And you may not be able to tell and but you're still going to have a general noise factor mm -hmm. yeah. that in light factor. I mean, it, it, you just if you've been to an amusement park. You're going to you hear people works. yelling and screaming. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's just there is going to be some of that. There you can't contain that forever. Hopefully it's not as bad as some because it is a a kids park. You're not mm -hmm. going to have huge roller coasters, 90 foot ones, but you are right. going to have 40 to 50 foot uh, roller coasters, they said. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna see. This scream. is almost like a pros and cons video, but just for this. Whole it's a pros and cons video. Patrice and I are trying to figure this out. We're out trying too. to go back and forth and see, you know, because we're not sure what to think. Exactly. We're not. We, we don't just know like how, what kind else. of impact that it's going right. to have. Now, right. let's talk about impact on property values. Is that something that was raised mm, yes. in this thing? You know, this isn't their first rodeo. That is correct. What have they seen to the property values in Hollywood in Orlando? What has that done to the immediate area? He said that it raised raised all their property values. I wasn't satisfied. Yeah. If I'm being completely honest, and with, you shouldn't be, with that uh, <laughs> response that we got, because mm -hmm. the way he he said it was, yes, all the property values now are have increased since they have opened. Well, yeah, but you opened up Maybe Universal in 1990. <laughs> I yeah, certainly I hope, hope they've increased. I certainly Correct. hope that the prices have gone up. Yes. What I would like to know is, okay, in that immediate, you know, two to five mile radius of the park, do has the home appreciation taken place in those at the same rate as maybe the five to ten mile radius? Correct. That's yeah. what I would like to know. So here's an interesting thing though. So the PGA, when it opened in Florida, their property values went up, what, tripled? They tripled. Mm -hmm. So now you've got the PGA opening up and an amusement park. So it's gonna be interesting to see. And everything that's going on in the Fields West. Oh right? yeah, all Which those houses going, are going up. You know, the Fields West is, is the Legacy West portion of the Fields and I, that is location, 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 mm -hmm. right? We yeah. preach that all the time. Well, your proximity to all these great restaurants, uh, dining experiences, recreation, et cetera, mm -hmm. is... You'll be walking distance. Yeah, right, right there, there in your backyard. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, I think I think we are in a great, great positive um, yeah. outlook. Mm -hmm. What do you say we get into the computer? Let's do it. If I want to see stuff.
On your mark. Get set. Get set. Go. Go. All right, so now we are in our office. And what we have up on the screen is kind of a rendering of the entire fields project. Um, now I've kind of narrowed it into the area that we're really talking about. Just to give you an idea of where we're at, uh, Panther Creek uh, Parkway is below. You can see my cursor. And then obviously in the big pink is where Universal uh, Studios is going. Um, this is split, this big white line is the Dallas Tollway. And right above here where my cursor is, you're gonna head into uh, Prosper. The Fields West, which is essentially what that, what Legacy West is going to be, but up here and, and bigger, is goes right here. So this is where the Ritz-Carlton is, this is where all that good stuff is. If not right here, I don't know, I can't remember in the original drawings where the Ritz-Carlton's going, but either way, it's going in this general area. But here's Universal. So how is that going to impact the neighborhood, Patrice? What do you think? Well, show your cursor where Cobb Hill is. Cobb Hill is this development right here. Right. So see, it's literally across the street. Now in front of Cobb Hill, where there you see the, the blank area there where the tollway is, that's um, kind of medical offices and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's that neighborhood and they are literally across the street. So I definitely see their concerns. <laughs> However, you can see where they're building all a bunch of other houses around this universal. So I'm really hoping that they're able to stick to their plan and you know, keep the traffic inside there, keep the sound and light and things like that. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, you know, because we don't need a whole lot more traffic. That's for sure. Yeah. No, I mean, and, and one of the things that they did say in the meeting is that um, there'll be some cutouts here for, to get in. And what, what's going to happen, and we'll show you, um, actually, we don't have a picture of that. But all this area where my, my hand is, the cursor, that's going to be all parking lot and actually and you won't be here. you won't be entering the parking lot from panther creek they said no you'll be entering it from frisco street up here mm -hmm. this will be the entrance to the park for the most part the only um, thing that will be entering from panther creek is going to be to the hotel to the hotel which mm -hmm. goes right here right where it says you can't read it but right underneath the, the world right here this is going to be yeah. where their uh, hotel is going to be 300 rooms um, and it's going to be about four or five stories so it's not mm -hmm. going to be this big keep it low. giant yeah. uh, hotel and then the park itself will be right here and like I said all the parking everything all the traffic should be coming from this Frisco Street at least that's the idea so for those of you who like obviously you're not from here um, everything you're seeing right now that's north of the panther creek parkway is not built yet yep, so there is nothing there right now but empty fields and so all of this is coming in and it's going to be phenomenal it really is going to be something for sure and so they have no choice but to build these roads to accommodate all of this traffic i mean they just don't we're hoping that they've done their planning fantastically and it will be great yeah so i mean I, i'm confident that everything up to this point has been done with a lot of due diligence mm -hmm. and then yes. one of the things if you saw some of my our pros and cons videos one of the things that i i said that i love about frisco is how aggressive they are right mm -hmm. and this is just another example of them being very aggressive universal studios bringing here to north texas I mean, Disneyland's been rumored to be here for the last 20 years oh, or so yeah. with nothing. I mean, there, there's no no meat behind that. But here we are, Universal Studios. So who knows what the future holds for this whole entire region and this whole area. Uh, yeah. It's just it's just an incredible time to be here. I'm very excited about the opportunities. Mm -hmm. My first, well, you know what, before we get into our personal opinions, um, let's go ahead and show uh, what the renderings are going to look like for yeah. the Okay, here we are. 
Here is the rendering of Universal Frisco. Universal <laughs> Frisco Kids. That's crazy. Amusement Park. I don't know yeah. what you call it. But all uh, right, here we are. Um, don't know much about it other than what the renderings shows you. You know, mm -hmm. you're gonna have four or five different kind of villages. Uh, or lots of shows and things lots, which would be fun. Lots of shows. Just think of all the stuff that, you know, when you go kind of in the kids land area of any sort of these big mm -hmm. amusement parks, it's just going to be dedicated to the little ones. Yep. Um, characters, all kinds of great stuff. Yeah. Meet and greets with the characters. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of slow, medium, uh, nothing crazy as far as attractions are concerned. You're going to have, like you said, a lot of shows and whatnot so um i do see a lot of water a lot of people uh, you know the concern is hey this is north texas you know the weather changes like crazy what's that gonna look like um they're they said that they're gonna have several different areas in each village or town or whatever you want to call it where they have some uh indoor space to where you can get in and get out of the elements as far as in july and august um if it's you know really hot outside or conversely if it's really cold what i love about the look of this is all the greenery all around they truly said and this is one of the interesting things that they're trying to bring the park back in amusement park right and so you're gonna have tons of lush landscape not mm -hmm. only barricading and and blocking the the uh, amusement park from the tollway and, and the general public but also while you're inside they want to transform you into different kind of worlds another thing that i think is cool um is that uh university of north, north texas is building a campus up up a ways from here um, and they're going to kind of partner with them and the students can come and learn to you know do different things in the park and you know cooking and things like that so i think that's pretty neat just like the pga is doing with you know um, frisco isd i like that these people are partnering with our children and giving them life lessons that they can use forever which is pretty cool yeah no it really is cool mm -hmm. overall patrice how do you feel about about universal come not only okay let me ask you this how do you feel about universal coming and then how do you feel entirely about the fields project in general knowing that you live in northwest Frisco? i have a different take i'm sure than a lot of people do i come from a place where i'm used to this kind of stuff we have friends who are from small towns and stuff and are not happy about this because it takes away the small town feel that we have which i totally understand um i'm excited because i like having things to do i like you know the excitement of all this being built is fun to me i'm very excited about the whole pga being built i have the concerns that most people have traffic but i I'm not com terribly concerned because once again, used to traffic. So I'm excited about it, to be honest. You know, I mean, I've got my reservations about a few things, but for the most part, I'm pretty excited. How about you? Yes, mixed. I love the idea about the golf, right? And oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, in just a few months, we are just a few months away from a major championship being held right here in Frisco, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, the Senior Open. I'm ecstatic mm -hmm. <laughs> about everything that is coming, headed this way, mm -hmm. um, ex outside of the traffic. Mm -hmm. I know that there will be uh, traffic. I mean, just, just in the fact that you're adding, you know, four or 5,000 homes in this area yeah. is gonna be yeah. uh, tons of traffic, right? So I think traffic was gonna be an issue no matter what. Adding right. Universal is gonna obviously add to that. However, um, I do think, and I do agree with the mayor in the sense that I do think there's gonna be less traffic with this amusement park and its specialty. So it's not Disneyland. You don't have 100,000 people there. You're gonna be able to control a little bit the major rush hours as far as, as, far as the uh, Universal is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, and so hopefully they work with that. I'm, mixed in the sense that i do wish that it was just a smaller version of the normal park 
I think all amusement parks um, relate to kids, right? So I don't know right. um, why we have to have a specialty. Like, you know, I would love to be able to walk around and enjoy some rides and stuff like that. And so hopefully phase two of this is a little more of that um, where you have both. Yeah. But overall, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. It's exciting to have something new and new. Something that is just out of the norm. You know, I love to be um, outside of my comfort zone. And this really <laughs> puts us in outside of our comfort zone a little yeah. bit. Yeah. The other thing I was thinking about that I'm not excited about is the construction of all this. Yeah. You know, if they're widening roads and they're they're just barely starting. There's a lot of big trucks and construction vehicles and things like that. So during that time, it's going to probably be a little bit hectic, but we'll just kind of avoid that area and go up, you know, the other way. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of suck for the next uh, few years. <laughs> so um, it, just, it, it is what it is. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, um, to be a golf cart, little trip away to hitting up all the shops and restaurants and and mm -hmm. now an amusement park you know it is i don't know just something that we never thought in our wildest dreams would be the case right here in frisco texas that is right if if you've made it this far again thank you very much if you like this sort of content give us a thumbs up it really helps our channel but more importantly who cares what Patrice and Andy think? What we want to know is what do you think? Yes, we what, definitely. Drop a comment below. Tell us what you think is going to happen to not only the property values, but just your concerns and whatnot. We mm -hmm. are going to be talking to not only the officials at city council and the, and the mayor, but we also plan on uh, reaching out. We got some contact information for the good folks at Universal, um, and we're going to sort of dig in on some of those questions that you guys have. So be sure to drop us a comment below with any questions or concerns that you Yes, have. so we can be loaded with questions when we finally talk to them, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And until the next time, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. Take care.